Welcome to Ida's Kitchen. Bienvenidos. My name is Ida Lugo McAllister and I am going to demonstrate how to prepare rice with chicken, arroz con pollo, using an instant pot pressure cooker. Rice with chicken is a very common dish in the Latin culture. Our sofrito is a special blend of herbs and vegetables sauteed in a tomato anato oil based sauce that gives this dish its unique flavor and aroma. Make sure that you read the Instant Pot user manual in its entirety before operating your pressure cooker. Let's start preparing the marinade for the chicken thighs. In a bowl, add two minced garlic cloves. One tablespoon of white vinegar. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. One quarter teaspoon of black pepper. One half teaspoon of light salt or to taste. And one quarter teaspoon of cumin. Mix all the ingredients until well blended. These are skinless chicken thighs that have been rinsed. Let's pour the marinade over the chicken thighs. and coat them evenly with the marinade. You can use skinless and boneless chicken thighs if you prefer. Cover with lid and refrigerate for four hours or overnight. You will need two special ingredients for this recipe, sofrito and seasoning envelopes with coriander and anato. Here is a recipe on how to prepare sofrito for a single meal and another recipe on how to create your own special blend of seasonings for those individuals that are not familiar with our condiments or they are not available at your local market. These are the chopped ingredients to make sofrito for a single meal. One garlic clove, one tablespoon of onion, two tablespoons of green pepper, two small or medium sized culantro leaves or you can substitute with three sprigs of cilantro, one tablespoon of ají dulce sweet pepper or you can substitute with cubanel pepper. The seasoning envelope with coriander and anato is a special blend of different seasonings, herbs and spices. Its main purpose is to add color and flavor to our tropical cuisine. This is the Goya brand, but you purchase the brand of your preference. You can also create your own blend of seasonings by mixing the following ingredients into a bowl. 1 teaspoon of ground coriander, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of light salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cumin, and 4 teaspoons of paprika or 4 teaspoons of ground anato seeds. When a recipe calls for one seasoning envelope, add one and a half teaspoons of the mixed ingredients to your dish. Before we mix the condiments to saute later, let's cut a few sprigs of fresh cilantro to add flavor to this dish. Add the following ingredients into a bowl. 
one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. One half teaspoon of light salt or to taste. Two tablespoons of tomato sauce. Three sprigs of chopped fresh cilantro. Fourteen pimiento stuffed green olives. Two teaspoons of capers. Two minced garlic cloves. Two tablespoons of sofrito made with culantro. And two seasoning envelopes with coriander and a natto. Stir all the ingredients until well blended and set aside. For this recipe we will be using two cups of long grain white rice. I would recommend always rinsing the rice when using a pressure cooker. Let's rinse and drain the rice with cold water using a fine mesh strainer. At first the water will be cloudy because you are basically removing the surface starch. When the water runs clear, the rice has been rinsed. We already had some chicken thighs marinating in the refrigerator. We are going to use the sauteing program twice. First to sear the chicken and second to saute the herbs and the vegetables. I prefer to use the normal mode for searing. You can also use different chicken parts for this recipe. Let's start searing the chicken. Turn the power on by pressing the cancel button and select the saute program. We want to sear the meat on normal temperature so press the saute button to change the temperature to normal. Press the plus button to change the time to 16 minutes. The status icon indicates that the unit is heating. Hot means the temperature has been reached. We can now add the meat to the inner pot. We are going to sear the chicken thighs in two batches. Let's add the first batch of chicken into inner pot and sear to lightly brown on both sides. Let's turn the chicken over to the other side. If you finish searing both batches of chicken before the selected time, then press the cancel button to stop the searing process. The first batch of chicken thighs is done. After removing the first batch of chicken, add the second batch and continue searing 
the chicken until brown on both sides. We just completed searing the second batch of chicken thighs. We just completed searing the meat. Remove from inner pot and place on a plate. The next step is to saute the condiments. Turn the power on and select the saute program. Press the saute button to change the temperature to less. The less mode is for simmering. I want to simmer the ingredients for five minutes, which is already selected. The status icon indicates that the unit is heating. Hot means the saute temperature has been reached. We can now add the condiments to the inner pot. Saute the ingredients, stirring occasionally. You can definitely smell the condiments. I am going to stir the ingredients one more time. We just completed sauteing the condiments. We are now ready to pressure cook the rice. Pour one and a half cups of water and stir the condiments in water until well blended. Place the chicken at the bottom of inner pot. Depending on the size of the chicken thighs, you might not be able to add all the chicken to the inner pot. Add two cups of long grain white rice. And submerge rice into liquid.
close the lid into lock position. Turn steam release handle to sealing position. Let's turn the power on by pressing the cancel button and select the pressure cook manual program. We want to cook the rice at high temperature which is automatically selected. We want to set the cooking time at 6 minutes which is also selected. On means that the cooking unit is heating and pressure is building up with the heat. When the cooking unit is completely pressurized, the cooking cycle will start counting down based on the time setting we selected. For this recipe, we selected 6 minutes. The rice is finished cooking. The cooker will switch to the keep warm mode function counting up. We need to count up for 10 minutes to obtain the 10 minute natural release process. After 10 minutes of naturally releasing the pressure, press the cancel button. The next step is to release the remaining pressure. The float valve is still in the up position. It's flushed with the surface. Let's turn the steam release handle to the vent position for a quick release. When the pressure is completely released from the unit, the float valve drops down. We can now remove the lid from the pressure cooker. Let's check if the rice is done. The rice is cooked and the chicken looks juicy. We can now serve the rice. Initially, the rice is very moist due to the steam when cooked under pressure, but within a few minutes, the rice will become fluffy. Our traditional rice with chicken, arroz con pollo, prepared in a pressure cooker. This dish can be served with your favorite stewed beans and tostones, double fried, plantains. This video is an updated version. The previous version has been removed from my YouTube channel. Let's taste the rice with chicken. Mmm. Mm. This is so awesome. Delicious. Este arroz con pollo me quedó bien sabroso. The rice and chicken are tender with lots of tropical flavors due to our condiments. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare rice with chicken, arroz con pollo, using an instant pot pressure cooker. 
Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.